Hi, welcome back to this video series. We're setting up uh, Tentrify Identity Service as an identity provider for ServiceNow, and the first step is we're going to set up SSO. And for this, uh, we are going to set up layout two windows, one with your ServiceNow uh, window, and notice that from the previous video, we activated the multi-provider SSO, and another window with the admin page for the Centrify Identity Service, right? So in here, uh, what we can do is close and reload form. And now we can type multi-provider here. And notice that we have the multi-provider SSO, right? Uh, the first step here is to, uh, before we set up an identity provider, is to set up a, a X509 certificate. But we need to get it. And uh, Centrify, as a courtesy, provides a certificate. Uh, but first, we need to take care of some uh, housekeeping here. We need to have a role that we need to assign. Uh, in this case, I've created a role called uh, ServiceNow Users, and I have two users, Diana and uh, Stewie. Diana is a, a user from Active Directory, and Stewie is a user from the Centrified Directory. You can have users coming from LDAP. You can have users coming from Google Directory. You can uh, have a lot of combinations here. But uh, it all starts with apps. So uh, as a person that can actually onboard apps, we need to uh, go to the apps menu and do uh, add web apps, right? From here, we're going to uh, do a search, and we're going to search for ServiceNow. And what you see is that we have two uh, pre-prepared templates, one for user password. For example, if you wanted to secure the admin account that you have, you can use the user password template. But I'm interested in this one here uh, for SAML plus provisioning, right? So we're going to do it multiple videos to get it done. So we're going to press add here and we're going to add this application, right? And uh, if you don't, um, if you would prefer to not watch a video and just read the documentation, one of the cool things about this is that all you need to do is click on application configuration help and everything that I'm going to go through here and more is going to be defined here. But uh, um, uh, I'm going to go back here and like I said, the first thing we need to do is set up a certificate, right? And um, Centrify does provide a uh, signing certificate for this. So I'm going to go ahead and download it, right? So I have now the ServiceNow one certificate. All I need to do is onboard it here. So I go to multi-provider SSO, X509 certificate. I'm going to press new, right? And uh, this certificate here, I need to open it. So I'm going to show it in Finder here because I'm actually on a Mac. Uh, if you're on a PC, you you know you have a different path for this. So um, so let's go ahead and see if I can look uh, look it up in Finder. And uh, I'm going to use uh, Text Edit to open it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click on it and see if I can open it with Text Edit. Or I can open text edit and open it that way. So I'm hoping that I can just draw, drag the file over here and expose the context of the file. Otherwise, I can just open it directly. So now I have the file. The file has the certificate uh, contents here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, right? So I have it in memory. And I can just give it a name to my certificate. So, And I'm going to paste the, the PEM certificate contents here. Just go ahead and, and submit it. And here it is. Now I have my certificate here. And in the next video, we'll go ahead and set up the uh, uh, the actually the actual identity identity provider.